Hi ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about wireless microphone system, microphone without wired, like this. Mm. So what's so special about wired and not wired? Well, usually the wireless system on the microphone is designed to use a bandwidth, alright, so you don't see the cable. Okay, the bandwidth for uh, the two common uh, bandwidth that they use is UHF and VHF. VHF represents very high frequency, usually covers from 30 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. And the UHF is ultra high frequencies that come from 300 kilohertz and above. Okay, so, but the main problem with these frequencies, they are usually used by other devices other than the wireless microphone, like the TV stations, the radio stations, and also the government like they have the police cars that use the radio as well you know the taxis and many many more so and usually these needs requires a uh, license you have to apply for license for you to get to ensure that this the, the, the frequencies are not affected by also you know because of these other frequencies so um, these are important too so you have to pay for your license in other words so we have also another problem because we have so many different uh, uh, within this bandwidth, so many devices that uses the same thing, and you will get a lot of interruptions. You get noise, pollution by the different, different blah blah blah. So you get the other uh, sound quality also changes. So you have affected by the sound. Okay. So um, another thing is also well, if you go a further distance and blah blocked by certain things, you will get this. So you got blind spots. So, for example, like this. So they came up with these channels, which they call the diversity. Well, this is not basically designed for like two microphones. I've seen some people ask me, "Oh, two antenna like this? So is it meant for two microphones?" No, this is designed for just one microphone because it is meant for like. Okay, when you we don't get signal, this is what they call a blind spot. So when you lose signal from the first one, the next signal will take over. So this is what they call diversity, not meant for two microphones, but this is meant for like one microphone, but another channel will take over. So that's diversity. So as I mentioned again, the signal goes into the processing here because of the noise and blah, blah, blah. That goes into here. This is what they call analog to digital convert and, and digital convert to analog. So it has a lot of compression being done here, a lot of processing being done that you get the sound that is not natural. It's being processed sound. So, but until today, people used to be, it's okay because that's the digital wireless, I mean, that's wireless all about. So, Line 6 came out with digital wireless. So, what are or is digital wireless? Digital wireless, basically, you don't have all these kind of problems because it runs, firstly, it runs on 2.4 gigahertz, which is similar to the Wi-Fi signal or bandwidth. So you don't have to worry about licensing as well to pay for your licensing. So the price is a lot more affordable and you get the best signal ever because it runs on the higher frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz. And you will get the best because it's a 24-bit digital signal processing. So you do not get a processed sound and no compression. So you get the best signal ever. And number three, it has this DCL locking system, which once you receive the signal, like for example, on channel one to channel one, uh, you don't have to worry about frequencies. Oh, like this, you know, you can ta -ta 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 on the phone, you don't have to worry about it because there's no such problems that you will get from digital wireless. All right, so these are the things that you get on digital wireless. And also, on the other hand, um, it on the XDV 75 and 55, it comes with mic modeling. So basically, it's not only just digital wireless, it has also different kinds of microphone that's usually very popular with all these different microphones. And these are the microphones. Check it out. Hi everyone, introducing you to the 10 different mic models that's designed or available in the Line 6 XDV 75. So the first one, I'm going to introduce you to the Sure SM58 on the line 6 Introducing you to Shanice to help us with the singing Okay Shanice, you can start with the SM58 model SM58 
Everything was easy, everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. Shua 58 has amazing mid range to the high range voice. It is a very popular microphone even from the early 60s to today. It's still a very popular microphone. It's a benchmark microphone for a lot of vocalists in this uh, vocal um, and singing industry. So we have the next one called the SM58, or they call it the Beta 58. Um, it has a little bit more output, and also it has more dynamics on the lows. And this is basically using the uh, Super Kydot dynamic microphone. So it has a little bit more output, and usually at the top here. So you get more volume but less feedback. It's usually being used by a lot of females because you know female usually has a very lighter voice and has a lot of bottoms or bass to give more depth to the female voice, usually. Take it away. Beta 58. Everything was easy, everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. There you go. So we have also the model Sure SM57. Usually, this is basically a smaller microphone and it has a very pointed sound Usually that is used for uh, to mic up amplifiers, uh, guitar amplifiers, or even percussions or even guitars. So this is more flatter response. So it has a much more uh, not EQ sound, so it's a bit more flat sound. Take it away. Fifty-seven. Everything was easy. Everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. So you can hear that it's lack of little bass and mid-range, all right? But it has beautiful clarity. So the next one basically is the Sennheiser. They call it the Evolution 835. So this one, what's so special about this mic? Um, this is also um, a cardioid dynamic microphone, but it has an EQ, a little bit EQ sound, so that it reduces the feedback. So it has less feedback sound, and it gives you a very nice creeps in the sound. So you don't have to worry about EQing to get a nice sound, blah, blah, blah. Just plug in, it has an amazing sound. This is the Evolution by Sennheiser, model 835. Take it away. Everything was easy, everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. So that's the creeps of 835. The Sennheiser also designed the Evolution model 935, which is a better model than the 835. What's so special about this, basically it has more output compared to the 835 and it gives a little bit more clarity to the sound. So this is Evolution Model 935. Take it away. Everything was easy, everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. So it has amazing more output. All right. So the next model I'll introduce you to the Audio Technica AE. 4100. Okay, this is basically the, they call it the Artist Elite Series. However, this is already discontinued model. And um, this is a mic that they designed with less feedback and also popping sound. And this is very, a lot of people compare this to the SM58. Take it away. Everything was easy, everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. So that's the Audio Technica AE4100. Next one is basically the Electro Voice model N slash D767A. It has an amazing warm to the sound to the bottom. So you get very beautiful sounds on the bottom, a nice creeps at the top. And this is also a super cardioid dynamic microphone. Okay, this is a super cardioid. The other one they heard was the cardioid dynamic microphone. And this is a super cardioid dynamic microphone. Take it away. Everything was easy. Everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. You hear the creeps at the top and a nice bottom at the, bo uh, you know, at the base. So that's the electro voice. Beautiful. So the next one is called the Audix OM5. And many of these engineers, actually sound engineers, compare this to the Shure Beta 58 because it has a nice bass at the bottom and clar uh, clarity at the tops. And uh, this is, but this is dynamic microphone compared to the Beta 58, which is a super cardioid. And it has um, 
uh, very nice crisps that usually again is recommended for the female and male that has a very mid rangey a very dark kind of tone take it away everything was easy everything was simple i never felt so good when she was mine all right the last two um it's called the akg d5 d5 is basically has a very nice uh, mid range which is compatible to like the Shure SM58 as well. A lot of these models are basically uh, a benchmark or, or is equivalent to uh, SM58. So this is another one that is also, you know, between between the comparison to the SM58. Take it away. Everything was easy. Everything was simple. Never felt so good when she was mine. Okay, so I have the last one. This is designed by the Line 6. They call it the Line 6 Custom. We have a little bit more flat range. So we, it gives you an allowance for you to EQ. You get your nice tone accordingly. And it's a beautiful uh, volume as well. Take it away. Everything was easy. Everything was simple. I never felt so good when she was mine. So that's the Line 6 Custom. So that's all the 10 models. And hope you like it and see you again.